Uh, Larry Spruill is live at Ford Field, and Larry, I know you talked to some Lions fans today. I suspect no one was terribly surprised by this announcement. Not surprised at all, Steve. As a matter of fact, many Lions fans I talked to say they were expecting and hoping that this would happen. But the interesting thing is that some Lions fans say they have mixed emotions about this news tonight. It's an emotional roller coaster being a Detroit Lions fan. That's something Stephen Jones knows all too well. Every Sunday, you know, you wake up just optimistic and hopeful. And he's not alone. Joe Mahone feels his pain. It is a privilege to suffer through every, uh, every season. Although they say being a Lions fan is not easy, they have mixed emotions about the Lions firing head coach Matt Patricia and general manager Bob Quinn. I got mixed emotions, kind of. It's never a good thing when somebody loses their job. But the Lions fans on social media weren't so nice. Several fans did not hide their feelings on Twitter. Kristen Pierce says, Merry Christmas. Renee Larson tweeted, Welp. And John Easter posted, hashtag rehire Jim Caldwell. There's definitely some, some differences from the end of Caldwell's tenure and uh, you know the end of Patricia's tenure. Obviously, getting a GM and head coach kind of coming in at the same time can hopefully mean for maybe more collaboration. So any suggestions on who should the Lions hire next? I, I really like Eric Bieniemy uh, out of uh, Kansas City. He's the offensive coordinator there. You know, everybody knows what they've done with Patrick Mahomes. And so I talked to a lot of fans tonight asking them were they hopeful about the next chapter, and they responded like true, loyal Detroit Lions fans. They say that next season is their year. We'll see. We're live at Ford Field tonight. Larry Sproul. Local four. Well, that one fan nailed it, Larry. You don't like to see anybody lose their job, but I think it was time for a change. Right. You're right about that. Thank you so much.